Hello everybody, this week's camera is the Polaroid SX70 Alpha 1. It was their second model of SX70 introduced in about 1977. The only real difference between this and the original model is it has these lugs for a neck strap and it has a tripod socket. Uh, it has a 116 millimeter uh, f8 glass lens. Shutter goes from f8 to f22. Uh, it's auto exposure using this eye right here. Uh, the shutter goes from 1 175th of a second to 10 plus seconds. I still don't know what causes the plus, but it'll go to at least 10 seconds. I got a flash bar with it. Uh, it's 10 flash bulbs, which match the old uh, original Polaroid film of 10 exposures per pack. This sucker is bright, so this and the age of the shutter uh, have been tending to overexpose a little bit. Hadn't used something to use real bulbs since my mom's Instamatic in the 70s. Haven't used it yet, but I have a Montgomery Ward electronic flash for it. Uh, it fits this type and also the solid plastic body SX-70s. Uh, it'll do close focusing down to 10 uh, what is it? 10.4 inches, about 26 centimeters. Focus here, lighten and darken, and I have to remember to darken. I'm overexposing a bit even without the flash. Uh, it's a true SLR. It has a nice um, split prism in here, so focusing is really precise. I've been using the Impossible Projects Color SX70 film. I don't have the Mylar frog tongue for it that protects it from the light, so I'm just using the dark slide from the film pack and then putting the prints in the box. They're super, super sensitive right after exposure. You can wipe out your shot in a heartbeat. I am having really fun with it, a lot of fun with it. Uh, the colors are a little bit weird. Uh, we'll see. I'll underexpose some and see how they come out but they're super sharp sharp. I'm not getting any of that funky developer bleed like I got uh, shooting the 600 film from the Impossible Project. So they're constantly improving and developing. So I will uh, finish out the pack and I'll see you then.